Hi, babies. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, so cute. Hey there, Pet Collective. I'm Ian Armitage, and today I will be showing you my hamsters, Romeo and Julian. I hope you enjoy them. Let's come right this way. Ugh, gotta stand up first. Hello there, I'm Ian Armitage, and I'm an actor, and also a very enthusiastic hamster father. And these are my hamsters. Let me get them out. This is Julian, and this is Romeo. Romeo Marks and Julian Spencer. These guys are brothers, they're dwarf hamsters, and they have been raised together from birth. It's actually pretty rare to have two hamsters that can live together because usually they're very solitary and like their space. Uh, but yeah, if don't, do not put two hamsters that have not known each other for a while together because they uh, will not end well. <laughs> um, Romeo, you can tell he's Romeo because he's a little bit chunkier and he is very fun, loves to be held. Uh, and this is Julian. He's smaller, quicker, faster, very fun to play with uh, and very active. And he has a little notch on his right ear. You can see Romeo has just climbed up the side of this thing. Hi guys. I first realized I was an animal lover when I was, well, pretty much when I was a baby because for the first eight or nine years of my life, we had an amazing black lab named Coco. He lived to be 14 years old, which is very old for a black lab. He thought he was a very small puppy. So he was like a hundred pound huge black lab. You would be sitting down and he would jump on your lap and this huge dog, he'd be going <gasps> no, He was just such a great brother. Um, and then two years ago, I got my first hamster and we were renting a house and in our rent agreement, they said we were allowed to have one non-vicious hamster. And it leaves you wondering, vicious hamster? What, what were they expecting? But um, my mom surprised me and for my birthday, I got an amazing hamster named Isla, or Queen Isla as we like to call her. She is unfortunately not with us anymore, but she was an amazing hamster. I love hamsters in particular because they are so fun and entertaining and at the same time, they are so cute and fun to watch. Just like, even just sleeping. It's fun, they just cuddle up and they look like a little like fur ball and they just kind of go <laughs> But um, yeah, they're awesome pets and I recommend if you are in the market for a pet, Hamsters are your way to go. Hamsters are dogs or primates. Maybe not primates, but they're all good. But mostly hamsters. <laughs> Romeo and Julian. Okay, so funny story. Suri and McKellen, who is so amazing and so nice. I wrote, I couldn't think of any hamster names, so naturally I, I emailed him, because that's who you ask. Oh, so, hey there, hope you're doing well. You know, I just, we're about to get two baby hamsters. Can you think of any good hamster names? Maybe Shakespearean? I can just imagine him going, oh wait, we gotta stop rehearsals. <laughs> I gotta answer this question about hamster names. So he wrote back an amazing two page long list of 20 double names, so 40 names in all. So I decided on Romeo and Julian, but there was also uh, Marks and Spencer, which is a posh store in Britain. And uh, its nickname is Marks and Sparks, which I thought was adorable. And that's what I called these guys in the nickname. Anyway, that's how they got their name. And I am very happy and very grateful to Surya and McKellen for picking such great names because as you can see, the name Julian Sparks fits him very well because he's Sparky, he's an entertainer. <laughs> Look at him running around. Which musical would my hamsters play the lead? Ooh, that's hard. Well, I feel like I gotta say Romeo and Juliet, minus the crazy killing part at the end. Like, just cut that out. <gasps> Alexander Hamilton. <gasps> oh, that would be adorable, but I don't want them to duel. It should be like, one's Eliza and one's Hamilton. I chose hamsters, number one, because that was literally all our landlord would let us. But I, little did I know we were getting into the wild and awesome world of hamsters. I think a lot of people think hamsters are boring or, you know, not as fun as other pets. And hamsters just seem like, oh, they're hamsters, they're rodents, they're in a cage. That is not true. As I hopefully have showed you today, hamsters are amazing, lively, fun, awesome, crazy, cool animals. And they're very fun to play with and be around. When, when life is like stressful or crazy, just playing with them, just seeing them be cute. Like, I don't actually usually get very stressed, but if I'm ever like really busy and I'm just like, I need a break, just looking at them playing and being cute and just being little, cute little wiggle bugs, 
It just makes me so happy. <laughs> if you're gonna get a hamster, a good idea is to know the people you're getting it from. Most people don't even know that hamster rescues and hamster foster places exist. They do. Sorry, I just had to give him some kisses. Yeah, I've fostered hamsters before. I must say, I love it so much. I think in general, people just need hamsters. They're really awesome and fun, and it's really helping because hamsters are so cute and they need homes. Alrighty, now I will show you some of their many various carrying cases and houses and homes and playpens and all that stuff. So this is their playpen. This is not their actual cage. They cannot escape this thing. I mean, maybe they can. I don't know. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> they have little toys like this that they love chewing on. I also put peanut butter in them. Hamsters love peanut butter. Like if you have a hamster, give it some peanut butter, but not only like once a month because they, you know, they get peanut butter crazy. <laughs> and right under here, I will show you the elusive hamster. That's Romeo, and he is burrowing right now because they have a, a whole fresh layer of bedding, which is basically like hamster covers. Um, this is another thing that they love, and I recycled this. Uh, for We got a box, and this was in it. It was just cardboard, so I made sure that there were no harmful glues or chemicals, and I cut out a little hole in it, and now it's one of their favorite houses. Now, this is one of their carrying cases, and they love it. Um, there's also attachments for it, which is really cool. So you can take off one of these things, stick something on it, like another little case or tubing or whatever, and they play in it. Also, one cool thing about this, the bottom is clear. So you can see when they're burrowing, you can see them through the bottom. Hi, buddy. Do you want some food? Then they also have some, like, just dried flowers and seeds and nuts that they really love. And little like leaves and things, basically what hamsters would eat in the wild. But anyway, yeah, they're adorable. Alrighty, we are ready and hyped up for the tricks for charity round. Me and my hamsters finally decided on the best charity ever, which is Tiny Traps Rescue. It's run by our friend Miss Tony here in California. She's amazing, and the work she does is even better if that's possible. She's such an awesome person. She rescues hamsters, she breeds hamsters, and she gave me these hamsters. So I want to give back. Right, guys. All right, are you going to be cute? Yes, you are, because you always are. I thought of some tricks. They are hamsters, keep that in mind, but um, they are pretty smart, and they will do some tricks. Let me see if I can get them on their hind legs. Hi guys, hind legs. Good job, you can see he's on his hind legs. Yeah, good boy, good boy, you did it. All right, this is them going down the slide. Boom, magically going to the slide now. In editing, they're gonna make it look cool. <laughs> Hi buddy. Hi, I'm just gonna take you off for one second. All right, now your brother's gonna go down the slide. Yay, good job, yay. Can you do what your brother did? Oh, oh. Oh, nice job, little escape artist. Good boy. All right, guys, ready? Let's see if let's see if they'll go over the bridge. It's crossing the bridge. Okay. Oh, oh yes, good boy. Oh yes, yes, you are so distracted. Yes, yes. All right, big finish, guys. I'm gonna turn this thing upside down, put you inside of it, and have you smile. Good boy. I love you both very much and you have deserved this treat. All right, thank you guys so much. Thanks to these little, cute, adorable, amazing little guys, we have raised $1,000 for the amazing charity, Tiny Tracks Rescue. Please get hamsters, they're amazing, and they're so awesome. I love these guys so much, and thank you for watching. This is Danya.